<laughs> when you're in a movie, you know, at first when they said, well, it's going to be Johnny Depp in the thing, and I was thinking, well, is this a good a fit for a, a Walt uh, Disney pr film production movie? Did, did they ever have any uh, second thoughts about you in, in the leading role of this film? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, second, third, fourth. Really? Yeah. yeah. Many actors have spoken up about Disney's unfair firing of Johnny Depp, and more recently, his co-actors are threatening to not appear in the franchise if he is not cast as Captain Jack Sparrow. Kay Escudero might be one of the actors who have hinted at not showing up in the sixth film. So what exactly did Kay say? Let me break it down for you. Kay's dead men tell No Tales character Karina may return in the sixth Pirate to the Caribbean movie, and her potential presence could connect the reboot to the franchise's earlier sequels. The future of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise appears uncertain at the moment. It has been over four years since the most recent outing of the series, 2017's Dead Men Tell No Tales. Disappointed critics and fans alike, and it remains unclear whether Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow will return to the franchise in the next outing. However, all hope is not lost. According to Depp's Dead Men Tell No Tales, co-star Kaya. The actor was invited to reprise her role as Karina in another Pirates of the Caribbean movie when she signed on to star in the sequel. While the fate of the series remains unclear, this news could provide a clue to the future of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies going forward. Speaking to Screen Rant in late 2017, Kaya said that she was contractually obligated to appear in the next Pirates of the Caribbean sequel and even shared her idea for how to keep the character of Karina around. The actor said, Well, when I I signed up for the first one, I signed up for two movies, so I'm contractually obliged, but I'd love to do it. I think there's a lot we can still do. I'd like to see Karina, who takes the elms of Bardosa on the sea, have her own all-female pirate crew. She then added, I think it would be a lot of fun to go back. It was an amazing experience to shoot. So many people all watch it and find joy in it. It crosses generations. People enjoy these movies and people still want to see them. I think it's important that we make sure it's good and if people want it and we can find the right script, I'd love to be a part of it. But as of now, I haven't heard anything. Her own female private crew idea marries well with what has been reported about the future of the franchise. It was announced in 2020 that Margot Robbie would star in a Six Pirates of the Caribbean movie, although it remains to be seen whether this project will be a spin-off or direct sequel to the series so far. Kaya played the role of a daughter of Captain Bardoza in Pirates of the Caribbean. This role was introduced in Dead Men Tell No Tales. While Elizabeth and Will's cameo was a disappointment for many fans of the series, Karina's plotline was hailed by some reviewers as one of the movie's stronger subplots. A headstrong astronomer, the ambitious character begins the movie being accused of witchcraft before she is saved by Sparrow in the course of one of his many misadventures. In the ensuing story, she discovers her father's identity as Barboza and sacrifices himself to kill Javier Bardem Sal and she is last seen paired off with Brendan Thwaites, fellow franchise newcomer Henry Turner. While Jack is the captain of Black Pearl at the sequel's close, this doesn't preclude Karina from starting her own crew, particularly when piracy runs in her blood. The Pirates of the Caribbean series brought back characters as minor as Mordog and Mulroy in its early outings, and this gave the franchise a sense of scale and internal consistency. It was believable that the same characters would cross paths regularly with this approach given giving the filmmakers a chance to utilize them in new settings. This makes Karina's return all more advisable. She herself said that she would love to see the character follow in her father's footsteps and become the leader of a group of female pirates is a premise that would be used to introduce Margot Robbie's female Jack Sparrow replacement to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, thus giving the tired series new life. Since it's unclear whether Margot Robbie's Pirates of the Caribbean movie is a reboot or a spin-off, it's hard to tell tell how much of the franchise's existing mythology and its large cast of characters the project will use. However, by providing a bridge between the original movies and the new reboot chronology, Karina's presence in the new movie could lend a sense of legitimacy to the sequel. The Pirates of the Caribbean franchise has a loyal fan base who have been left waiting a long time between movies, and unlike other properties where the lead character has little effect on the movie's appeal, some fans may be hesitant about embracing Pirates of the Caribbean without Johnny Depp 
up playing the role of Captain Jack. In fact, most fans are also convinced that Kea will not show up for this sixth film since she has made it known that she is fond of Johnny Depp. Essentially, Kea lost it when she shot her first scene with Johnny Depp. The former Skins actress was a big fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean movie series when she was younger, so she was delighted to be cast in the upcoming fifth installment, Selzer's Revenge, as astronomer Karina Smith. But she admits she was overwhelmed when the lead actor first appeared on set in his iconic Captain Jack Sparrow costume. She said, You can try and mentally prepare yourself for it, but when he actually steps on set in that costume, you just lose it. You turn into a child. Although Kao's return could lend some legitimacy to the sixth Pirates of the Caribbean movie, Karina's presence alone may not be enough to salvage the series. While she was in the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, Karina's first appearance was in the last and worst movie of the series. Thus, her presence may not mean much to the fans angered by the sequel's failure to bring back Jack. The answer to the question of whether or not Jack Sparrow will return in Pirates of the Caribbean 6 will decide whether many fans consider the project worth engaging with or not. And a more minor character's return is not likely to sway those uncertain about the new project's potential. Just like bringing back Barboza in 2011's On Stranger Tides and Dead Men Tell No Tales was not sufficient to stop these later sequels from receiving increasingly poor critical reactions, bringing back Karina might only work as a way to introduce Margot Robbie's new heroine. As a way to sway fans of the earlier Pirates of the Caribbean movies, Karina is less likely to impress longtime fans than the return of Billy Nye's Davy Jones or Knightley and Bloom. Even though those big names may not be enough to salvage the franchise's fan base if Depp is not asked to return as Jack Sparrow, in its recent installments, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise grew to rely more and more in Depp's depiction of the lovable layabout. Now, the series is unlikely to win back the crowd if it fails to facilitate his return, something that no amount of cameos from minor characters seen in Dead Men Tell No Tales will be likely to change. Disney is said to have dropped Depp from the Pirates franchise just four days after Heard's incinerary 2018 op-ed in the same publication in which she claimed, without naming Depp, that she was a victim of domestic violence. Depp's lawyers claimed that the actor's removal from the multi-billion dollar grossing franchise was because of her allegations. The complaint also blamed Heard for Disney announcing that it had dropped Depp from the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise four days after the op-ed was published, the report said. In 2018, Disney production chief Sean Bailey confirmed that Depp was no longer part of the franchise's future plans. He told The Hollywood Reporter, We want to bring in a new energy and vitality. I love the Pirates movies, but part of the reason writers Paul Wernick and Rhett Reese were so interesting is that we want to give it a kick in the pants, and that's what I've been tossed with. Previously, the original Pirates film screenwriter Stuart Beatty had confirmed that the studio was looking to reboot the series. I think he's a great run, he told Daily Mail TV. Obviously, he made that character his own and it became the thing that he's most famous for now. It's been great for him and it's been great for us. There's that saying, don't frown because it's over, smile because it happened. The fact that they're rebooting something that you did means that you did something that was worth rebooting. It's an honor. However, according to a new report, recent developments in Depp's ongoing legal tussle with her suggest that Disney might be having second thoughts about the actor. A We Got This Covered report claimed that following a series of revelations in the court case between the two former spouses, we're now hearing that the 56-year-old could be set to reprise his Academy Award-nominated signature role in the upcoming sixth movie. The report said that Disney is looking to hire a female lead for the upcoming film with Depp appearing in a supporting role. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, then you definitely will love our videos about all the other actors who are threatening to boycott the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Be sure to check them out after this.